used when you are describing what a way. These are the terms used when you are describing way. Number one is peace. Number one is peace. Stay down. These are particles. Which are at the same vertical distance. Mm -hmm. These are particles. Yeah. Which are at the same vertical distance. These are particles. Which are at the same vertical what? distance. From their position of rest. 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 From their position of rest and move in the same direction. From their position of rest and move in the same direction. From their position of rest and move in the same what? Direction. Then number two, crest, crest, crest. This is the maximum upward displacement. This is the maximum upward displacement of a wave. This is the maximum upward displacement of a wave. This is the maximum upward displacement of a wave. Then twerk, twerk, twerk. This is the maximum downward displacement of a wave. This is the maximum downward displacement of a wave. This is the maximum downward displacement of what? A wave. Then the next one is wavelengths. 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 This is the distance. This is the distance. This is the distance between two successive. This is the distance between two successive. This is the distance between two successive corresponding crests. This is the distance between two successive corresponding crests or twelve. Corresponding crests or twelve. Corresponding crest or Have you written that? Yes. The next one is amplitude. The next one is amplitude. This is the maximum displacement, amplitude. This is the maximum displacement. This is the maximum displacement of a wave. This is the maximum displacement of a wave. 
from it me or rest position. From it me, M O E A N. From it me or rest what position. It's on the table, they will tell you that it is the vibration of a wheel from its rest what position. Okay? Now, as I'm here, whenever I move from here to here, displacement have taken place, right? Okay, what is just happened now? I've moved from my rest position to this place. Is it not? What I what just happened is known as what? Amplitude. Are you getting me? So the maximum displacement of a wave from its rest word or me word position. Are you following? Is known as what? Amplitude. Okay, the next one is period. 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 This is the time taking by a wave. This is the time taking by a wave particle. This is the time taking by a wave particle to complete one oscillation. This is the time taking. This is the time taking by a wave particle. This is the time taken by a wave particle to complete one what? Oscillation. To complete one oscillation. Or vibration. Or vibration. Or vibration. Or cycle. Or cycle. C Y C L E. Cycle. <coughs> Or cycle. Or cycle. Have you written that? The next one is frequency. 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 This is the number of vibration. This is the number of vibration. This is the number of vibration. Or cycle. This is the number of vibration. Or cycle. Or cycle. A particle make in one second. A particle make in one second. A particle make in one second. A particle make in one word seconds. The last one is wave number. Wave number. This is the distance in wave travel per seconds. This is the distance a wave travels per second. This is the distance. Sorry, it's wave speed, not wave number. Wave speed. The distance a wave travels per second. The distance a wave travel per watt per second. Now, what is on the ball? This is the diagram for progressive wave equation. This is the diagram for what? Progressive wave equation. Progressive wave equation. So progressive wave. Hello, please pay attention. Now, this is how your wave looks like. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is how your wave looks like. So whenever the course is said, this eye is also appear in your oscilloscope. Okay, maybe when it gets to the lab, they are going to show you what oscilloscope. Okay, in your practicals. Hello, please pay attention. Now, this eye is being displayed. Okay, so it moves like this. 
upward and what? And downward movement. Okay? So immediately, you, uh, you cause a vibration on the particle, it moves like this. Straw force. It moves like this, is it not? So that is how it goes. Because there are some waves, it goes like this. Okay, continuously. Okay, until finally we will fade away. Now, this is it. Now, this is the starting point. Hello? This is the starting point, which is the what? The rest position. So, this is the rest position. You can also call it what? The mean position. Are you following? And this is how the wave moves. Okay? Now, there's a distance from here to this place. Okay? Which is known as your what? Your face. Hello? What did I say is your face? Go back. What's your face? One, two, three, go. For their position of what? Yes. And they move in the same world. Which is from here to this place. Are you getting me? Is your face. I'm saying things like that and like that continuously. Now, another thing again, from this place to this place is known as what? As amplitude. Okay? Now, your amplitude, okay, it is the displacement of a particle from its equilibrium or its mid position. So when the particle moves like it to this place, so from here to here now is known as what? As mm -hmm. amplitude. Don't forget, it takes time. If this one is zero, this one can be like, let's say, two, four, six, eight, and so on and so forth. Forward. So as it moves from here to this place, okay, it's known as what? Amplitude, which is from here to here. Then from here to here is what? Amplitude. From here to here is your word, amplitude. From here to here is your word, amplitude. And another thing again, from this distance, from here to this other part, are you getting me? It's known as what? Wavelength. It's known as what? Wavelength. The same thing. From this part to this part is also known as what? Displacement. That is from this amplitude to this other side. Are you following? Now, another thing again, this very top here. This very top, when your wave moves to the highest, to the highest point, are you getting me? So that point there is known as what? Crest. Yes. That point there is known as what? Yes. Crest. Then whenever I move, it moves downward again and it gets to the highest point before it moves back again. Are you getting me? To this point. So from here to this place, this very point here, this highest point in this downward path, is known as what? Trough. Okay, as you go again, then it moves to the highest point in the trough first. So this other point again now is known as what? Crest. So the distance between two crests, the distance between two crests is known as what? Wavelength. Hello? Hello? The distance between two what? Crest is known as what? Wavelength. Or the distance between two what? Trough is known as what? Wavelength. That is why they will tell you that your wavelength, it is the distance between two corresponding. Hello? It will be the distance between two corresponding what? Crest or what? Trough. The distance between two corresponding crest or what? Trough. Or trough. Now, this is it. And your crest, you can see now your crest is at the top, is it not? Why your trough is at the wall? Down. So, whenever you want to define your crest, you can simply say that it is the maximum wall of wall displacement. Are you getting me? Of a wave. Why your trough is this the what? The maximum that was displacement of the wave. Are you following? So the maximum upward displacement is known as what? Crest. And the maximum downward displacement is known as what? Trough. Is that clear? Yes. Now, in terms of your, your period, okay? Now, whenever your wave moves from here to here, past seconds, and it takes time for this wave to complete what? One cycle. Are you getting me? This is a cycle. The difference between cycle and what? Cycle. Are you following? So if you move from here to here, this is one. And you move from here to here, this is one. So if you bring the two together, it's going to come like this straw force. Okay? It becomes what? A cycle. The time in which for your, for your way to complete one cycle, okay, is known as what? Period. And for it to complete another word, cycle, is known as what? As period. Is that clear? So you can see that it takes time from zero to depending on, let's say, to the infinity or so. Then why from here now? We also have another one, frequency. 
Hello, the what? The frequency. Any circle that any vibration that your pet your your wave makes. Are you getting me? When your wave moves, it's splitted from here to here. It takes time, right? It takes what a circle. That's known as what frequency. So any uh, vibration made by wave, okay, per seconds. Are you getting me? It's known as what frequency. That is why there's a relationship between your wave, your frequency your period okay and there is also a relationship sorry there is a relationship between your uh, your period and your frequency and there is a relationship between your wave and your word your frequency and your word wave speed now your wavelength the symbol for wavelength is lambda the symbol for wavelength is what lambda the symbol for wavelength is what lambda and the symbol for amplitude okay is a why the symbol for your period Okay, is what capital letter word C. C. And the symbol for frequency is what? Is F. Why the uh, the symbol for speed is what? Is V. Are you following? Then why that of your face? Or you call it face difference or face angle? We normally use what? Fa. We normally use what? Fa. Alright. Now this time around, your face, the unit, is measured in what? In rad. Hello, which is radian. The symbol for the short form for radian is what? Rad. Okay. Sometimes they might ask you to express your face in degree. So you can express it in degree or you can express it in what? Radian. And another thing, don't forget your crest and your trough, both of them, they are got it from your what? They are got it from your what? Your crest and your trough, they are getting from your what? Wavelength. It is your crest or your trough that form your wavelength. Is it not? It is your crest or your trough that form what? The wavelength. Now, another thing again is your period. The SI unit for period is what? Seconds. The SI unit for period is what? And the SI unit for wavelength, it can be in meter or centimeter. It can be a meter or what? Yes. It can be a meter or what? Yes. Then the SI unit for frequency. Frequency is in X. H R T Z. You can express it in S or you can also express it in per seconds. You can express your frequency in S or what? Per seconds. You can express your frequency in S or what? Per seconds. The another thing is your waist speed, okay, it's your normal speed, okay, don't forget, your waist speed, it is the distance traveled by a wave per, per second, is it not, okay, that is meter per what, per second, okay, or you can also express it in centimeter per what, per second, depending on the calculation, are you following, all right, now this time around, Now, for frequency, that's F. Okay, frequency is the inverse of your period. Is it not? Frequency is the inverse of your what? Period. period. Please take note of this. Then we also have period. Then your period is the inverse of your frequency or the reciprocal of your word frequency. frequency. So where your t is equal to what? Is equal to what? One over f. f. Then we also have formula for wave, wavelength. Your wavelength, which is lambda, is equal to v over f. Wavelength is equal to what? V over S. V over S. Then why is that of your wave speed? So wave speed is V equal to F lambda. If you make your lambda the subject of the formula, you are going to arrive at this, is it not? Yes. All right. There's another one which is amplitude. 
take notes. Your amplitude does not have a specific formula in your wave equation. Are you getting me? But you can determine from your wave world equation. Just that most of the times, they may ask you to do for maximum acceleration. Maximum what? Acceleration. Maximum acceleration, that is your word, A mass. A mass. So your A mass is equal to A W squared. Now your A there is known as what? Amplitude. Your A there is known as what? Amplitude. Amplitude. Then we also have maximum, maximum speed. Or velocity, which is V mass. So our V mass is equal to A W. Our V mass is equal to what? A W. Our W they represent what? Angular frequency. Back to your mechanics. Our W is sitting as what? Angular, angular frequency. You call it angular velocity or angular what? speed. So this time around, which is your omega. So this time around, our angular, angular speed. Or you can call it angular frequency. Or you can also call it what? Angular what? Velocity. So this time around, RW is equal to what? 2 pi what? F. RW is equal to what? 2 pi F. RW is equal to what? 2 pi F. 2 pi what? F. Sometimes RW, can also express it in 2 pi then over C. 2 pi over what? C. Now, we have progressive wave equation. For progressive wave equation, progressive wave equation, our progressive wave equation is y equals to a sine wt plus this angle. Sometimes they use plus or what? Minus. Depending on the direction of the wave. Are you getting me?
A sign bracket WT plus power, right? All right. Plus minus, right? Now, your, the essence of the plus or minus sign, it depends on the direction of the word of the wave. Are you following? It, for the plus sign means that the wave is moving to the negative direction. Yes, why the minus sign means that the negative is moving to the world positive the direction. The plus sign means that the wave is moving to the world. Why the minus sign means that the wave is moving to the world positive the direction. Alright. But like sometimes your wave can be like this. It can start from here like this. Are you following? And why sometimes it can start like this? Are you following? Because in terms of a wave, okay, normally this is your zero, let's say one, two, three, then you become minus one, minus two, minus three. This is a graph, hope you know. Yeah. Okay, the same thing goes to this. Okay, let's say zero, you have one, two, three, here is one minus one, then minus what, two, then minus what, three. And if you observe there, you can see that this side is moving towards the world, the negative, right? And this one is moving towards the world, the positive, is it not? So the plus and minus sign there is just telling you the direction of the wave. Maybe it does not really matter when you are solving for your wave word equation. So the sign is just telling you that, okay, maybe that particular will move towards the negative direction, or maybe that particular will move towards the world, positive word direction. But during your solving, you are not going to use the word, the sign to work, to, to, uh, uh, to solve. All right, so this time around. So from here. Don't forget, RW. I told you, say thing I got 2 pi f, right? And look, you can call this one equation word 1. And our phi also has its own. Phi is say thing I got 2 pi x over what? Over lambda. 2 pi x over what? Lambda. If you substitute these two things into this very equation, so you are going to have y equals to a sign. Okay, I'm following. Yes, a sign bracket, what are the use? Pi 2 pi f, then plus or minus, right? Then, sorry, 2 pi f c, then plus or minus, what are pi? 2 pi f so over lambda. lambda. All right. So, is there, please, no noise. You can call this equation what? Zero. Now, if you're that, is there anything common there? Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. All right. But before that, don't forget your f is equal to one over what? Are you following? So if you substitute your frequency in place of f, so we are going to have y equals to a sine bracket two pi. Then times one over what c. Then times what c plus or minus two pi s over lambda. Is it not? So from there we are going to have y equals to a sine bracket two pi times one times t. We have two pi t over t. Then plus or minus here give us two pi s over lambda. Love you soon. All right. So from there. What is common here? Yeah, 2 pi is common, right? Yes. 2 pi is common, is it not? Yes. So if you factor add 2 pi, we are going to have y equals to a sine, a sine then 2 pi. So what will be left here? C, C over calculator T, right? Yes. So we have T over T, then plus or minus. So what will be left here? S over lambda. So we have S over lambda. So we can call this equation what? Equation So this two. This two. All right. Now, this time around, sorry, that should be equation theory. All right. You also know that your V is equal to F lambda is it not? Yes. If we make frequency the subject of the formula, we have f equals to v over lambda, right? Yes. Now from your progressive wave equation, which is from equation two, from equation two, 
Our equation 2 is stating as y equals to a sine bracket 2 pi fc then plus or minus what? 2 pi x over what? Over lambda. So this time around, we already know what's our f, right? Our f is stating as what? V over, v over lambda. Our f is stating as what? V, v over, over lambda. So in place of f, now we can replace it with what? V over what? Lambda. And then we have it as y equals to a sine, then bracket, then 2 pi, then times v over lambda, is it not? Then times what? C. Plus or minus, we have 2 pi x over what? Lambda. Are you following? So from there, we have y equals to a sine bracket, 2 pi times v times t. We have 2 pi v t. Then all over what? Lambda. The plus or minus 2 pi x over lambda. Is it not? So what is common here? Is it just 2 pi? 2 pi over lambda is common, right? So from there, you are going to have it as y y equals to a sine bracket. Sorry, if you bring out 2 pi over lambda, so what will be left here? Vt. We will be left with Vt, right? So we have Vt plus or minus. What will be left here? X. Then you can call this equation what now? Four. Equation four. Please take note of these three equations. Equation one, equation two, equation three, and equation four. It depends on the question you are giving. Are you getting me? It depends on the question you are giving. Because there are some questions. The question will be in this format. Okay, if it's in this format, you have to apply this equation. There are sometimes the question might be in this format. If it's in this format, you have to apply this. Sometimes the question might also be in this format and you have to apply this. But take note of this because you see more of the questions. Okay, using this very word equation. Is that clear? We have copy that then. Let's take questions on this. What? Why represent displacement? Why represent what? Displacement. Why represent what? Displacement. A represent what? Amplitude. A represent what? Amplitude. W represent what? Angular speed. Angular speed. Angular what? Then T represent time. And your part represent what? Phase difference. Phase what? Or you can also call it phase angle. You can also call it what? You can also call it what? Alright. Really fast with that. A progressive way traveling in the positive S direction. And when it was moving in S direction, it was what? Negative. Right? I said that your negative sign then means that the thing is moving in the what? Positive direction. Then if it's positive, that means it's moving in the what? Negative direction. Then where Y and X are in meters. Where Y and X are in what? Meters. And time is in what? Seconds. So we are giving our equation. The equation is y equals to 0 0.50 sine bracket 5 pi x minus 200 pi c. Hello. All right. Then we are asked to find the words number one amplitude. Which is A. And B, 
We are asked to look for what? 3.6. That's F. C. We are asked to look for what? Period. D. We are asked to look for what? Wavelength. E. We are asked to look for what? Wave speed. F. We are asked to look for what? B mass, right? G. We are asked to look for what? A mass. Then. H. We are now told that if the wave moves in moves a distance of what? 20 centimeter. What is the phase difference? So we are asked to look for phase difference, right? But this time around, we are giving what? We are giving our distance x, right? So be what? 20 centimeter. It's sitting as 20 over what? 100. 20 divided by 100. 0.2 meter. All right. Yes. to do, okay, you bring out your equation given to you in the question, and the equation we are giving you y to do, 0 0.50, then sine bracket 5 pi x minus 200 pi c, is it not? Then, you have to recover back to those equal equations I gave to you before, okay, for the first one, I gave you y equals to a sine brackets wt plus what let's say minus what pi this very equation is it the same thing with this no. is it the same thing with this no. that means there's no way you can make use of this so i also give you y equals to a sine 2 pi over lambda brackets vt minus x is it not which is the equation for right yes can I make use of this? No. Is it the same thing? No. Then still move towards the next one, where I give you y equals to a sine. Then I give you 2 pi bracket t over t, right? Then minus what? S, S over lambda. lambda. Is it not? No. If you compare the two equations, are they the same? No. Are you following? Yeah. Are they the same? No. Then you move towards the last one. I give y equals to a sine bracket 2 pi fc. Then minus what? 2 pi s over, 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 over what? Lambda. Now, if you compare and contrast, is it not the same thing with this? Yes. All right. Now, if you observe, this side we see is sitting as this. Yes. Then why this other one is sitting as this? Not that they interchange it. Are you following? Yes. So this time around, we are going to compare and what and contrast. contrast. So it's sitting as y equals to a, the sine, the bracket. We have 2 pi x, the over lambda, minus what? Then 2 pi ft. Is it not? Yes. All right. Now, this time around, what you have to do, you are going to compare the both word equation. Now, this go with what? With this. Are you following? Then this go with this. Then this. Then go with this. Then why this? Go with this. You can see that we are taking at the sign. Is it not? Minus cancel out what? Minus. Minus. Isn't it? Yes. We've eliminated the signs. Now, for number one question, we are asked to look for what? Uh, amplitude. Uh, which is the D. Uh, amplitude. Uh, if you observe, my amplitude, my A, is corresponding to this, right? Yes. It seems that your A is sitting as what? 0 0.50. 0 0.50 is in what? Meter. It's in what? Meter. 0.50 what? Meter. meter. That's number one. Hope it's very easy. Yes. Then number two, which is the P. We are asked to look for what? Frequency. 
If you compare the both equations, where can you find your frequency? You can find your frequency here, right? Yeah. This one is taken as 2 pi mc equals to what? 200 pi c. Are you following? C cancel out what? C. Pi cancel out what? Pi. What is left in this place? 2n equals to what? To get a what you do? You have to like 2. So our f will be equal to 200 over 2. We do what? What? We do what? What? What the SI unit? S. All power. All right. So the next one is C. For the C part, what are we have to look for? Period. Don't forget. Period is the inverse of your word frequency, is it not? So our T is equal to 1 over F. So from there, our T will be equal to 1 all over what is F? What is F? What is F? That's 1 over what? 100. 1 divided by 100. 0. 0.1 what? 0. 0.01 what? 0. 0.01 what? 0. 0.01 what? So the D part, please listen. For the D, we are asked to look for lambda. Lambda is what wavelength. And we can get our wavelength from our wave speed. And outside that, from the equation, we can also get your wavelength from here, right? This is wavelength, all right? So we are looking for wavelength. So this time, we have two pi what? X over lambda equal to what? 2 pi s. Is it not? What happened is that 2 pi. 2 pi comes to 2 pi. No, pi. No, pi. Okay, yeah, it's 5, right? So we have 5 pi s, right? Now we pi comes to our pi, right? And s comes to our s. What is left here? 2 over lambda. Then equals to pi. So what do you do? Cross multiply. So, 5 times lambda, you have 5 lambda equals to 2. Is it not? So, to get our lambda, divide the side by 5. So, from there, our lambda will be equals to 2 over 5. So, what is our lambda? 0.4. What is our lambda? 0 0.4. 0 0.4 meter. Now that you've got it that, then number E part. You are asked to look for what? Way speed. Please pay attention. You are asked to look for what? Way You are asked to look for what? For way speed. That's our V. So our V is equal to F lambda. Is it not? Our V is equal to what? V is equal to F lambda. From here, our V will be equal to what is our frequency? What is our frequency? 100. Then what is our lambda? 0.4 times 0.4. So what will be our V? 100 times 0.4. Now 40 meter per second. Then the next one is what? F. For the F part, we are asked to look for what? Maximum speed. Is it not? Yes. We are asked to look for what? The maximum speed of the particle. Maximum speed. So that's our V mass. And our V mass is equal to A dot V. Our V mass is equal to what? If you observe very well, from our walking, and the question, we've already have our A. True or false? We've already have our what? A. And our A is 0 0.50. But do we have our omega? No. Do we have omega? No. So you have to look for what? Omega. Are you following? All right. So look for omega, which is W. W is equal to 2 pi 1 F. Is it not? So from there, W will be equal to 2 times pi is what? 3.142. That was frequency 100. So if you multiply that, what do you have? 2 times 6 2. Multiply. 6 2 8 point 1 4. Rad per second. So from here, our V mass will be equal to A of the U. So V mass now will be equal to what's A? What's A? 0.50. Then 
So if you multiply that, what we have? 314.12. 314.12. Meet up our seconds. All right, the next one. What are we asked to look for? Amos, right? The next one we asked to look for what? Amos. That's number what? G. So to look for maximum acceleration. Maximum acceleration. That's A mass. Is equal to A W squared. Is it not? Yes. Alright, so from here, what was our A? A is 0 0.50. 0 0.50. And what was W? 628.4. 628.4 was squared. So from there we have 0 0.50 times 628.4 squared give you what? 628.4 squared give you what? 628.4 gives you what? 98. Stop right here and pay attention. 628.4 gives you Three nine four eight eight six point five six point what five six five six multiply so we have one nine seven four four three point two eight meter per second squared. And the last one we are asked to look for our phase angle. That's the ish. Phase angle is pi. And phase angle is taken as two pi x over what? Lambda. Okay, this time around, if you was that the question, we're giving our s to be what? 0 0.2 meter, right? So from there, we are going to have it as far equals to 2 times what? 0 0.142 times 0 0.12. Then all over what? Lambda is what? What is our lambda? What is our lambda? 0 0.4. So they gave us value. Uh, two times three for one, four two times zero for four. We are one point two five six eight divided by zero point four. Three point one four two was right. All right, so that's our answer. Any question? All right, see the past.